And I've actually gotten a lot of questions about when you're gonna plan like a high-end custom water-cooled PC like we finished here with Oris. Like what goes into a process like that? What I wanted to talk about today was a little bit about planning your loop. We have a 360 radiator at the top that's cooled by three fans. And then we have a super thick 280 millimeter radiator in the back. The big thing is, is that you wanna make sure that you have enough cooling for your heating component. So in this case, we have a 3080 Ti and a 12900 KS, which is what we're using for the CPU. So the important thing was to make sure that we actually had enough to dissipate the heat for those two elements. The second thing too, which is really, really cool critical, especially if you're going to do hard tube, save yourself some pain. You can actually see we have hard tubing where it's completely visible. But if you look behind the GPU, you'll actually see that we actually use soft tubing to save ourselves some time and some pain because A, if you look from the front, it's completely not visible. You can't see it at all. But at the same time, it does all of the same work but it doesn't distract from the look and I've saved myself from having to do a really ridiculous tube bend and draining this will be a whole lot better. 